only thing I like about wintertime, besides hockey, is, is braised meats. It is being able to turn your oven on and leave it on all day and slow cook something. And the whole house smells of this uh, beautiful dish you're making. And everyone, uh, you know, anyone who walks into that house knows you've been doing something. A long time ago, you were thinking of them. It's an expression of affection, right? So we, we don't just, uh, you know, we don't just feed people. We, we will plan a menu, uh, go grocery shopping, prep the meal, cook the meal, clean up after the meal. And these people walk in and your house smells fantastic. And uh, these guests, and they sit at your table and you serve them. And, uh, and it's just a way of making people feel cared for, right? I think the very first time coming to Belrose, I just, I felt welcomed. I felt like um, it was an exciting and vibrant school. And it was a big school, just like grade 10's coming in. You know, yeah. they're excited to come to a new school. They need a little bit of mothering just to make sure they're, they're, they're feeling um, like they've got a, a place here, that they feel welcomed and uh, they're a little bit scared and they just need to be nurtured a bit more. And I just find, that that's nice as a teacher to be able to do that. Whether it's uh, academics or, or athletics or student activities, you know, there's a definite feel about the school. There's, there's always a place for them to be. Whether they're in the arts, musical theater, maybe they need um, uh, help with scholarships, they might need help with choice of courses. There's a place for them to be. I never knew what was my strong suit before high school. I was like, okay, do I like basketball, is it, is it theater, is it academics? And I realized that you don't have to choose one. You can still enjoy all three and you don't have to settle down on just one thing to do for the rest of your life. I started taking singing lessons when I was about five and then I did nine productions with St. Albert Children's Theater and I did um, three productions at the school. Being on stage and having an audience just appreciate your hard work is really fantastic. When you're done a show and you're exhausted and you feel like sweaty and gross and you're just so tired but you have a house of people that are cheering you on, that's such a good feeling. You have to be really confident if you're going to stand up there and do something ridiculous in front of 500 people and when you're in the wing and you're waiting before you go on, do the Sharpay Evans type thing and get into character and think about your objectives as your character and think about what you want out of the scene, what you make, want to make the audience feel. When you think about all those things, then you, you feel ready to go on. Mentally, you just got to kind of take the pressure off and remember exactly what you have to do and nothing else, and just kind of stay relaxed and commit. For me, I just kind of stay silent and I just wait till my adrenaline's up and I just kind of go for it. On a weekend, we usually wake up at around like eight or nine. One of us, one of us will make coffee for everyone. And you just kind of get in the car and just pump tunes that everyone likes. Everyone kind of sets up their GoPros whenever you're filming with. We're doing a photography unit, so we can figure out where it has the best lighting and what times of days to shoot. Come to school the next day, and then you have digital mean design for a whole 70 minutes to uh, edit all your videos, and I think that's really cool. What I think makes a school different from any other school out there is, is the amount of moral and character development that happens outside of the classroom. Kids are learning about uh, being generous, about caring for others, and they realize this world is greater than what's going on around them. We're preparing kids for what's beyond. And it might be post-secondary and it might not be, but the bottom line is they need to leave here with confidence. Well, uh, my, my dad's in the Navy and he was, he was posted out to uh, the military base here in Edmonton. And my parents chose to live in St. Albert and uh, I'd always planned to do the IB program. And so, uh, Belarus had that, you know, the opportunity to do the full IB program, and that's what drew me there initially. Yeah. Uh, I graduated from Belarus in uh, June of 2012. I think you, you don't really realize how great of an education you do get at Belarus until you, you leave that place, and you, and you look at your peers around you, and you see like, wow, well, and you, you look at your course material and what you're doing, and you're like, wow, I was really prepared for this. You make friends for life. You're together all day, you take all your classes together, and you kind of go through the same challenges and stress together, and I think that brings people together. Flex was a really useful time. Uh, in, in addition to just having time to do your homework or study before exams or whatnot, uh, it was also useful for leadership activities, uh, club activities. I used that flex block to start the food and business course, and uh, 
I mean, it's a byproduct of, of my passion. My passion for, for good food and for entertaining. Um, and so every student in the business uh, has a specific job, whether it's uh, you know, the president or the secretary. Um, everyone's got a responsibility in the business. Uh, the students make an initial investment into the business. We buy product, we, uh, we buy equipment, and we put on uh, monthly family suppers or we create a product for sale and, uh, and try to run a successful business. The feeling you have after you've done your jobs and you realize the significance of, of what we've accomplished together uh, gives these kids a sense of, wow, this is, a, this is, this is huge. Being a Bulldog is, is about pride in the school, caring about other students, um, fostering uh, relationships. We always band together for whatever the cause is, whether it's bike-a-thon, whether it's I, like Beat Town Chow Down or any sort of other event, we always come together and it's just a sense of being proud. I think when you first arrive on scene and you, you see the look in their faces and people are for the most part in shock or in distress, I, uh, I think that when they do see us it is a sigh of relief and uh, just the reassurance that we do give them that everything is going to be okay and that we're going we're gonna to help them. To me that's, that's the step of caring that I think we bring to the job. That's a big high for me. See, I see a lot of her mother's beauty in her but I see a lot of Mackenzie's attitude and will in me. I see a different um, spark in her. Before it was hard to get her out of bed to go to junior high and now I don't even have to go into her bedroom. She's up, ready to go. I, I think it's weird because of, uh, I didn't really look forward to going to school as much as she did but uh, for her it's exciting, it's new. And I remember going to um, the first, like there was like, a meeting for grade 10s in the small gym and this one girl got up and she was speaking about Bellrose and she said, I wake up every morning and I'm excited to come to school. I was like, you are full of it. There's no way you like coming to school. It's ridiculous. And I've thought about that quote like all the time and I always think that is so true. Like I actually wake up and I do like coming here. We are a strong school. We believe in ourselves. We believe in our programs. We support one another. We're, we're really community driven. And that's what I love about teaching at Belrose. Like I don't, I don't ever feel alone at Belrose. I've taught here for close to 20 years. Uh, the most important thing I love about it is just standing in front of the class and teaching because it's energizing. Kids are fun and they make me, they keep me young, I hope. They've got great answers. They make me laugh. I love seeing them learn. I love seeing the light bulb go on. The kids bring a new perspective and a, and a hope and a, the, you know, an idealism. Well, maybe it can be done like this or maybe we could do it this way. And I'm constantly learning. Like I'm constantly, I'm constantly discovering from my students. Well, my favorite time of the year I, there's no doubt about it, I love graduation and, and I love the commencement ceremonies because I do teach grade 12s as well and there's just something really special about it that you know when they walk up on the stage with their caps and gowns it, it's sort of like a culmination of, of many years of education and it's nice to know that you're a part of that and they, it's like they're, they've matured to that point where you're just you're so proud of them so even as a teacher or a parent it's a really special uh, occasion. I love being at the grad uh, ceremony and the, uh, the banquet because you get a sense that these young men and women are going to go out into the world and they're going to be bulldogs out in the world and, and, and teach the world what it means to be a bulldog. They're going to care for people in their communities, they're going to have a sense of pride in what they do. Um, they make us proud every year, these kids. Uh, so yeah, I just feel like these young, these are men and women now. They came to us as kids and now they're men and women that are going to go out into the world and shape it.